Hi, welcome to Simply Scuba. Now we're going to have a look at the Sunto Viper Air Black Dive Computer. First of all, let's have a look at what you actually get inside the box. So inside the box, when you open it up, first of all you have a nice bit of foam padding just to keep the computer safe. You have your dive computer, which if we take that out, underneath you have your USB download cable. So this is what you use. You connect that to uh, to Sunto's DM5 or DM4 software, and that will allow you to download the dives onto your PC or Mac. You have a replacement uh, scratch guard. So this just replaces the one that's already fitted to the computer and uh, just stops it from scratching the actual screen. You have Sunto's information on their limited warranty a quick start guide, and also a CD uh, copy of the user manual. Now let's have a look at how the, uh, the dive computer works. Okay, so let's have a look at the, uh, how the Viper Air works. Now, um, whenever it's not submerged or, uh, or it's sort of nice and dry, whenever you first turn it on, it's gonna automatically resort to time mode after about two minutes. Um, so if we have a look at the screen, at the top section you have various cells, um, in the middle section you have the dot matrix and then at the bottom you have more pigment cells as well. So inside the dot matrix in the middle you can have a nice very very wide range of uh, commands and information. Um, on either side, uh, on the top and the bottom, you have a more limited um, sort of range of what it can tell. So on each mode, if we have a look at the, uh, the user interface first, you have the select button, you have the mode button, and then an up and a down button. This makes for a very, very intuitive user interface. Uh, it's nice and easy to use, and uh, you don't have to cycle through menus. You can go backwards and forwards. On any screen, if you hold down the down button, it goes into the settings menu. And then inside that, you can cycle backwards and forwards between all of the different menus. And then when you want to change one, you hit the select button and that goes into that setting. And then you can go in, you can change what you want, um, press select to progress through, or you can press mode to go back. To come out of it again, press the mode button, it goes to the main screen. If you then want to go diving, the, uh, the Viper Air is a water-activated uh, dive computer. So if you have it in air mode, uh, which I'll show you how to do it now, uh, it will, as soon as it gets wet, it will wake up and it will start recording. It does have an off feature um, where it's, uh, uh, the water contact um, doesn't function. Um, this is for if you're in and around the water and you don't want to waste battery power, you just leave it in the off mo uh, mode. So pressing the mode button cycles through the dive mode, the planning mode, the memory mode, and back to time again. And if you keep pressing, it just cycles through. So then we're gonna focus on dive. If you then press up and down, it cycles through the different dive modes from air, nitrox, gauge, and off. So if we have a look at air, first of all, it shows you that all of the pixels are working and it beeps at you just to let you know that the, uh, the tone is on and tells you the condition of the battery. Now this is similar to what you're gonna see on your dive screen. Uh, at the top, you have your current depth. So here on the surface, it's zero. In the middle, you have your surface time and your no-fly time. Because this is a brand new computer, they're both at zero. When you're under the water, this dot matrix is gonna um, change between lots of different information. First of all, in, uh, in the right-hand section, it's going to have your, uh, your no decompression limit, so how long you can stay at your current depth. And on the left-hand side, if it's connected to a, a wireless air transmitter, it's gonna give you your, uh, your air consumption in minutes. So this is how long your, uh, your air is gonna last at the current depth in minutes. In the bottom left-hand corner, you have uh, where it says CD and then two um, dashes. This is where um, your wireless air transmitter, uh, it's basically, it's looking for a wireless air transmitter, but there isn't one in range, um, but this is where it will display how much air you have currently in your, um, in your cylinder. In the bottom right, you have your, uh, your dive time. So this is how long you've been underwater. 
and then if you press the up button that will cycle through the water temperature and back to dive time and the um, if you cycle through the down button that cycles through your um, uh, how much air you've got in your cylinder and your maximum depth of the dive. Back to time and then back to your, um, your wireless air transmitter. So if we have a look at the mode function or the settings even, hold down the down button, same as before, and you can cycle through all of the different menus. There's a bit more on, um, on the dive menu than your, um, in just your time mode. And uh, again, you can go into it with the select button um, this is just your depth alarm, so if you go down below 30 meters, it will just um, it will signal to you um, to ascend. Um, so say we want to turn that off, you cycle up, hit select, and then you can select uh, whichever depth, but we're just turning it on, so we'll leave it at 30, or sorry, we're turning it off, so we'll leave it at 30, and then it goes back to the menu. Very, very simple. Press the mode button, it goes back. Now, in any screen, if you hold down the select button, it goes to the compass mode. Now this is a very nice digital compass and um, it's quite responsive. If you, um, it still shows you your current depth, your, uh, your air supply, it tells you your bearing, uh, your current bearing. If you want to set a, um, set a bearing, just press select and that records where it is and then if you turn off that bearing, you see this little arrow starts to increase get bigger and bigger and bigger. That way you know to turn back to your original heading. So that's a nice, um, a nice digital compass. Hold down select again and it comes back. If we go back to that compass, just have a look at the settings. Again, hold down the down button, it goes into compass settings. First of all, you have calibrate, which is uh, quite user, uh, user friendly, um, quite easy to do. Sometimes it takes a bit of practice, but it is very, very easy. Declination, so this is in uh, different hemispheres. Uh, it, the, uh, the compass acts in different ways in, uh, in different hemispheres. This, uh, your declination just controls how accurate your compass is, depending on where you are. And then your timeout. Um, if you don't want the, time, the, um, the compass on permanently, you, uh, you just select, okay, I want the compass to turn off after one minute, or you can turn it off in three minutes, five minutes. Okay, if we have a look at some of the other modes, <clears throat> cycle through to night trucks. Again, it shows you all the, uh, the features are working. Hold down the down button, goes into the settings menu. You have the same as, um, as your air, except now you have night trucks. So you can go into that and, uh, and it's asking for your oxygen percentage. So after you've analyzed your cylinder, you can then cycle through that. And as it goes through, it's telling you your, uh, your MOD and um, set to your, uh, your PO2 of 1.4. Uh, so say we've got 26%, hit enter. You can then cycle um, depending on what PO2 you want and the, uh, and the MOD is changing for you various um, stages so you can set more gas mixes if you've got more than one stage going down with you. <clears throat> okay, cycling through, you've got the memory with your history. Your history is your overall history. So this is how long the computer's been underwater in total, your maximum depth ever, and how many dives you've done on this dive computer. Memory also has logbook. So logbook is where it remembers each of your dive as separate logs. So because this is a new computer, there aren't any, but it will tell you your maximum depth, your dive time, uh, the water temperature. It will go through, um, you get a nice little um, graph of your dive in the dot matrix screen. Uh, and that's very useful for filling out your paper logbook. And then back to time again. So all in all, it's a very, very useful uh, recreational dive computer with, uh, with wireless air transmitter. And that is the Sunto Viper Air Black dive computer.